Okay, welcome back. This is part two of E lecture five. Now the problem is written here. You got a steel shaft of diameter 30, 300 mm, and it should transfer some power. Lah. So let's write down what is given first. I'll put here as given. I have diameter 300 millimeter from here. Then I was given power 2.24. Not that I was given power, the power is here. Lah. I wasn't given much power. Lah. Times 10 to power of 6. I'm converting mega watts to watts. Lah. And also we have the rotational speed lah, n equal to 2 revolution per second. So these are given. And what are we supposed to find? Eh? We are asked to find the shear stress. So let's get all the equation that we know to find shear stress. Eh? So uh, I know that uh, shear stress is equal to 16 top over pi d3. That's the first equation I know. Then I realized the power. Power has this equation. Power equal to top times omega. Um, and also omega is equal to 2 pi n. It's no longer divided by 60 because the unit is in seconds, so it's 2 pi n. Eh? So let's get the omega correct first, 2 pi. n is 2, so put over here. I will have 4 pi radian per second. Now with that, uh, from this equation, from this equation, eh? I can write torque is equal to power over omega so i can just now start to solve the equation already so now we will have um, what color should i use okay let me use red oh no black okay shear stress is 16 t over pi d3 let's put in the terms i know torque into here i got 16 power over omega over pi d3 and that's very neat because you see uh, power I got a value here power can come in here omega will come in from here and diameter is what I want to or oh, diameter I got it from here and what I want to find is shear stress so I just substitute the value in 16 power is 2.24 by power 6 omega is 4 pi pi 300 q and from here I calculate I got Newton per millimeter squared which is equivalent to 33.66 same value uh, mega Pascal. Mm. I miss out something here. Here I need to multiply by 10 to power of 3. Because I need to convert. Uh, I need to convert the torque uh, to Newton meter to Newton millimeter. Because in our stress calculation, uh, in our stress calculation, we must take note of this very important criteria. Um, force will be in Newton. Uh, dimension has to be in millimeter instead of meter. So that the stress is in megapascal 
So let's take note of this. Uh, whenever we do stress equation, we use this form of unit. Instead of meter, we convert it to millimeter. That brings me the end to of part two. I will see you in part three. Bye.